Yo. Alright, I'm done eating. <clears throat> Sorry, it took so long. Uh, I just said I was gonna start stream at 6 on Discord, and I started stream, even though I wasn't really ready. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so, hmm. Good stuff. Um... So, this is going to be interesting. It's kind of a weird team. Uh, I went heavy on the firepower because I don't have a lot of firepower. Uh, I'm not using any entrusting at all. Because um, all five characters need shit tons of soul break points. This is, there's nothing I can give anybody here. And the reason for that is uh, because Onion Knight and Terra need to do everything within their power to increase their damage output. Which means gaining small little tiny advantages. Wherever they can. Like, uh... Terra's USB 2. It's totally all fire. All fire, except it has a 30% black magic boost on it. How will I destroy the damage wall? Well, this is where we're going to get some super value out of Onion Knight. So, my plan here... Yeah, it's the OK Chase. My plan here is to kill the first wall with, um, no, not okay, OSB. I actually tried before, um, while I was cooking. And it did zero damage to the wall, unfortunately. But, um, what I'm going to do for the first wall is I'm going to use the second cast of Veil 4 to kill that wall. And the second and the third walls, I'm going to try to time it. I'm going to try to thread the needle here. Um, every third wind, water, fire, or earth ability the user uses to trigger the follow-up ability Onion Sorcery. Onion Sorcery is an OSB wind attack. And um, <clears throat> I did test that as well, and it did cap and destroy the first wall. So what I'm going to do, since you usually get about six actions during an awakening, is I'm going to try to position the second wall at 55% to be killed by the first Onion Sorcery and the third wall at 40% to be killed by the second one. At which point I will start Terra's Awakening to get me through Phase 3. Uh, and uh, something else I'm going to do during Phase 3, it does sound like a lot of suffering, um, is I'm going to use Onion Knight Sink, which doesn't do shit. It's completely water. Except it does increase his cap break. Uh, and I did test this as well. As long as this cap break is active, this, this ninja ability right here, Raging Storm, breaks cap. So it's going to be a way to keep uh, Titan out of Rage 3 during Phase 3 to increase Terra's damage output. What do you think about that? Is that Mimi enough? Get some camera going. Woo, baby. Hey, 
Hey, Janie. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Chrono. Have a good night. Believe it or not, this is uh, this is the best team that I've got for Wind Magic. I think it's not bad. It's not as bad as it sounds. We're gonna find out how bad it is because I'm going to be running phase one on uh, on the the least amount of damage that I can I can. <laughs> oh man. Sorry, just eat bad hiccups. <laughs> um, the phase one is going to be done with bare bones. So I've got all the damage that I can compact into phases two and three. She. Fujin is a female. Uh, meltdown. You don't want to use Raging Storm. Not unless you absolutely have to. Like, <laughs> like Onion Knight with his sink. Oh, but Fusion has easy access to end wins. You don't want to be using two hit abilities if you can help it. If it's too hard to line up both of Onion Knight's OSBs for two walls, I'll use it for one wall. And I'll save Vale 4, even though I really don't want to do that. Well, I think her first glint is uh, really not that good. Uh, what do I want to do with Ferris on first turn? I know I don't want to start a uh, chain until Onion Knight uh, gets his USB up and Terra gets her USB up. Which I believe should be on turn three. Yeah, it's probably dance. There's no reason for her to use Thief abilities quite yet. Uh, testing something out with Alpha now. Should be fine. I want uh, him to be able to glint on his second turn. And uh, I'd rather just use the five star on first turn for that. Dose. Uh, so I'm holding everybody's action here except for Alpha No, who I want to glint. He will be able to. So what we're going to do is glint and then skip over to Alara. Just going to use USB.
Generate those soul break points, boys. And girls here. There's actually more girls here. Than boys. Yeah, Blender, you don't want none of that. Blender, get your head out of there. That's what I thought. Oh, whose turn is it? It's whose team. Now. Um, gonna wait yet another turn because uh, this should be a non-damage turn from both Onion Knight and Ferris. Uh, not Ferris. Um, Terra. I need night, please tell me you're good to go. Ah, not even close. It's like a hundred points away. Oh, look at that null damage. Perfect. It's kind of funny though that 30% that she gets from that is it's no and wins but it's something uh alphano one more team at and then he should be able to use his usb2 and that's what i'm so really what i'm going for here is to lean on uh alphano's wind radiant shield as much as i possibly can Capping, no chain. I love it. Gonna be leaning on Alpha no pretty hard. And Ferris, apparently. Bailfer, why can't you be like Tiamat? Does it remove my UI?
getting there, making progress. Any more dual casts on your night? More dual casts. Hmm. All right, well, that's phase. So wall should get broken right now by by Ferris. Now when do I want to start woke with onion? Let's drive right away. <laughs> Screw it. the wind diffusion yet? No. Maybe. I think so. There it is. So next turn is the primal essence. I can't believe he missed the first one. 55% I believe is where the, the second wall is. It's actually going to be really close. I may be doing too much damage. I love that phrase. Too much damage. Uh, how many soul break points you got, Elfino? How do I want to roll with you? You have stacking. I guess I want to use his USB 1 next. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, that. Mm. I need to get through phase one using Alara's USB less. Not having any thrusters is. It's rough. Yeah, 
Yeah, I hit the second wall too fast. How do I... There's nothing I can do. I need to wait for Onion Knight's turn. Then just cast it. Cast something into the ether, and uh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I need to be, uh, I need to be more careful with Alara. Shit. Well, can you do this on a fresh chain? At least tell me that. This should be his OSB turn. <sighs> it's good to know. So what? What was I not doing with Alara? I I think I know what I need to do. I need to use her awakening. That's why she's uh, she's not casting fast enough. She's not generating enough soul break points. And that's okay. As long as I, um, as long as I time the Ferris soul breaks with her Alara's USB one. Cause the faster Alara casts, it just means I get to use Allegro con Modo. For everybody else. Okay. <laughs> You know, um, it doesn't look bad so far. Seriously. I was getting through the phases faster than I thought I was going to. In fact, I may be fine just to not use Veil 4 at all. Except for for two of the walls and let Onion Knight take care of the other one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. So I think I did get through phase one faster than I thought I would. <laughs> Titan Whitey's. If uh, Walter Sobchak was a Magicite, this would be him. Now, this is a problem, sort of. If uh, she doesn't cast Veil for this turn, what does she do? If I use either of her abilities, the cast time is going to be so long that um, the party's going to die. Probably. No, 
No, we're actually going to be fine. Alara was definitely a lot better off than I thought she would be. <laughs> Which I definitely did before I started the stream. I forgot to remove Onion Knight and Terra's OSBs. I, you know, who knows, maybe they'll be useful. Maybe I'll be on my last breath in the last phase. I just don't think that's, that's, that's gonna happen. A no one trusts team doesn't really stand much of a chance, I don't think. Uh, last gasping it. Now we get to use Soul Breaks. Um, so this is the the time to use Alara's USB. The next Medica will be our awakening. No, no, that was not good. This isn't going to genera generate enough silver points. Oh, well. Can't believe the first time I used Terra's USB 2. It's as a wind soul break. Oh, it did. Good. Didn't have to waste tornadoes. Sucks. Oof. Oh, you know what? Uh, there is. Why is Alara in slot three? Slot three is the lowest soul break point generating slot on the table. Oops. That should go to Terra, definitely. Definitely feeling the loss of not breaking cap and losing the all the extra like The, the damage boost and the imperils from Veil 4. Nobody's doing that much damage now. Didn't this entry do, uh, like, 
8,000 each hit. Oh, okay. Maybe... Maybe I can't do this. Without using the alpha. Alpha knows got my back. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do. Let's see if I can get out of rage three. Terra. My my chain? <laughs> no. <laughs> Five percent. This is pathetic. Tara, can you do ten K? Non elemental into rage three. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, you cannot. Really need to take that off the bar now. That was pretty awful. Uh, you know, I, I don't think so. It would help me a lot, and I would use it if I had it. Warm pearls, warm pearls. More magic. <laughs> Need every, everything, everything I can get. If I can make it to 70% in a single chain. Oh, that hurt. do a better job getting it to 70% in a single chain. What seconds damage reduction at rage three? Uh, 
Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty big. So, I can run no wall, which is, uh... Not really happening. Believe me, if, if I had stuff for them that made them worth using, I would be using them. Yeah, there's no way I'm spending lenses on this on, on characters solely for this fight. It's it's possible. No, I highly doubt it would be better than Terra. Because once Terra uses her awakening, she's a extremely powerful source of damage. Uh Onionite as well. And Onionite has his sink available. And they don't cost me animal lenses for a fight that I don't need to actually do. No, not Wind Awakening, Fire Awakening. That's why she has Meltdown equipped. It's a fire ability that benefits from her Fire Awakening to deal wind damage. Right, exactly. Phase one is going to be the roughest part of the fight. Um, shit, I had something. Well, I need a night hero ability would help. As a slightly higher multiplier. It is. So, if I could just break rage once. Well, I'm going to have Terra's Awakening and Onion Knight Sync going for Phase 3, which should be enough. And keep in mind, I am going to be using Ferris. So during uh, the first phase, or the first chain, she's going to be using Pirate Storm for the Imperils, but I do have Essence of Flame to remove Titan's buff at the start of Phase 3. Yep. Yeah. 
Uh, one thing that I should be doing... What's up, Wander? Is, um... I should record board Terra. That's a resource I don't mind spending. It's, it's Terra, after all. That's not just for this fight. <laughs> and that's why I don't want to touch Fusion and Ultimecia's uh, animal lenses, because that would be just for this fight. It'd be, it wouldn't be useful for me uh, otherwise. Terra, on the other hand, she's getting borrowed. She's a loner from both the, the Fire Mage team and the Final Fantasy VI team. Increases magic by 20. <laughs> uh. No, none of her wind stuff is there. I checked. That's a lot of stuff hidden behind her health. On a trance character. That's scary. Uh, well, I don't know. I I didn't really care for it. Uh, next festival, I believe. Well, I guess that stuff is not that important. I... Would definitely like this, but I'm not going through all that HP to get it. And this is this is obviously useful. And if I only have to activate one HP node for it, then that's cool. Speed increase is useful too, and that's only one more HP node. I'll pass on him for now, though. She does have a lot of. Magia already. Only 248. <laughs> I actually thought she had over 300. Should redistribute those into health. It's not like the fire is doing her any good in this fight. Now, Elphino also has his record board available. And he should also be a good investment. I'll at least get that, right? 120 magic? Yeah. 120. The uh, blessing of Final Fantasy XIV characters. 
never get any relics, so here's all the magic that you can handle. What's up, Johnny? All right, let's see what's hiding what. Yep, that's good. I should just take that entire line. That's God. Yeah, that's um, that's seventy magic. So this whole board gives her gives him a hundred and ninety magic. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's ridiculous. Is how it works. That's why it's um, not as bad being a Final Fantasy fourteen character anymore. I don't really want this line right now, so I have to miss out on that damage. Yeah, we'll just give him his magic. <laughs> the speed node is only four motes. The magia is too hidden. I'd have to go I'd have to wade through some some health to get there. He's got mind up here too. Which is gonna be useful. Cause uh healer alpha no is coming. We've powered up. Next step is Onion Knight Hero ability. Is the Magia worth it? I don't know. Is it? Magia is pretty useful. Uh, it's pretty cheap too. And at worst, you're putting it into defense and resistance, which, you know, back in the Odin age, not that useful. You ran. It was mostly piercing, but uh, Final Fantasy or no, sorry, Six Star Magicite. Uh, there's a lot of non-piercing attacks. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one issue with this team. Not that much though. Yeah, Alphano is doesn't have any magic, ever. but he does a bunch of damage. I do have his arcane. Hopefully to help me uh, get out of phase three. Okay, we can remove this. I know that you will not be using it. Uh, I don't have anything to spend Terra Soul Break points on. That's why she's on the, in the middle. I don't want her generating Soul Break points. Because I can't use any of this shit. Her USB 1, maybe for the the magic and the cast speed. But uh, the team should be at plus 50% magic from Alara. Uh, and I'm going to use her USB 2 first anyway, so it'll be a while before she's able to use the USB one. I'll have to see. If she has uh, enough soul break points at the start of phase two. No, 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 no. No, I don't like it. Isn't USB one better than two? No. USB one is plus magic. USB two is plus black magic damage. Um, Again, like I said, uh, I'm going to have a ton of magic coming from Alara and the Bard ability. 
Terra naturally has a bunch of magic. Then I'm gonna prefer the damage over the magic buff. Two arcanes. That is a wind arcane. Onion Knight is a wind mage. Phase one's the bitch. Yeah, I never got okay USB 3, but I'm not sure I would even use it here. Uh, probably not. Yeah, 45 out of 50. It's missing like five magic. Out of 960. I think she'll live. See, his, uh, his USB 2 just adds the chase, which is cool, but uh, his USB 3 is a magic buff to the entire party, as well as a black magic damage buff. So honestly, I, I think that's more, more beneficial. I, again, I, I think I put his USB 3 in the same situation as I did Terra's USB 1 as... Yeah, if I've got the spare soul break points, then sure. But um, but there are better things for him to cast. If I do have the spare soul break points, I may. I'll think about picking that up again. That's. Not something I would be doing just for this fight. It's a really good USB. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll do it. She can't. She only has dancer five. So it's a five star dance.
All right, let's see if this attempt is any better. Please be better. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! That sucks! The worst part, the worst possible time to get interrupted. Ugh. And I actually want Alphino to get interrupted because it would give him the soul break points to use his USB 2 this turn. And next turn is Primal Essence. It's a huge damage attack. I would love to Radiant Shield that. So, uh, if. If Alara is just going to keep on getting hit by that, I'm going to use a Dark Veil for her instead. Should give me the extra soul break points. Oh, that sucks. Ah, I would love to Radiant Shield that. I don't know how much damage this next attack is going to do. Did have a lot of health. Ah, yeah, I could have survived it. That sucks. You know what? It actually doesn't matter. This is going to overheal anyway. <laughs> Some really high value interrupts. 
son of a bitch. I need it further this time. Four percent to go. Four percent. You know, if I get off that Alpha No uh, USB two earlier, I think it's going to make a big deal. It really will. Hey, what's up, Lucid? What are you talking about? I got him wins. Right there. Lambo. Check that shit out. No, I have not. I was actually going to do that tonight before someone suggested that I try out Magical Titan. And then I said no. And then I thought about it and said, okay, I'll give it a shot. Perfect. Oh, it's just so calculated. How far have I gotten? Uh, well, phase two, 55%, the, that wall. I broke the second wall. But um, I didn't like how much resources I was using to get to that point. So I kind of, I'm revising it. I'm trying to use it as little as I possibly can during phase one. So no veil four. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope it works.
So uh, by the end of the first chain of now new progress on the new run is 74% uh, health. Which, you know, not terrible. Yeah, that, that Radiant Shield hits. Not, uh, not as big a deal as I thought they were going to be. I mean, it helps. The, the next one's the big one because it's a gravity attack. Earthquake. Getting the hits on the chain is important too. Dual cast. I need you to dual cast like every round, Alpha now. That's all. I really should Medica right there. Uh, yeah. I, I lose so much damage by not using a Medica after that gravity attack. I can survive this next hit, but I just lost so much surging power damage. Watch this uh, Alpha No Brave command. It should be pretty pathetic. That. Well, no, he's actually got healed by... Did did a bard, uh, bard Medica go off? That wasn't that bad. No shit, you're right. I do have Emperor's Wind BSB. God, that'd be better than Terra, right? I forgot all about that. Would that be better than Terra? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Cause he's gonna he's gonna suck ass <laughs> when his awakening isn't up, just like Terra. Just like Terra. Yeah. Yeah, and Wimba spoke would be fine. Doing, yeah, it's up over 8,000. There we go. Getting somewhere. Alpha, didn't I tell you to dual cast? Terra listens.
30% summoning damage. He doesn't cap enough for me to use the 20% chance to dual cast. About time you got a low value interrupt. Yeah, we're about at the same place as I was in the last uh, the last run. Um, <sighs> uh, I can delay chain for a turn, I guess. Knight's hero ability. Uh, yeah, if you're using a realm team, sure. Like Velfor. Uh, you're using Kiros, Laguna, and Squall as your damage dealers and shit. Why not? Let's see if I can inch over the line. No chain. Or I'll just cast the chain. You got the soul break points, right? I I actually just want all the soul break points I can get on her, but... Alright, let's try this out. What's Sandstorm? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Unblinkable earth wind damage. Okay. Turn 14. <laughs> this is so far into phase one. Oh, God. So many soul break points. Now, Terra can't use Chain Tornado. Doesn't deal fire damage. So she can't use her uh, awakening with it. Yeah, next attack is the Earth King Grand Slam. Rage level plus two. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah, I wish I had something to cast with you, with your soul break points. Maybe that's where Emperor has the edge on you. He can just recast his BSB for entry damage. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think phase three is going to be that bad. I got the tools. Yeah. Yeah, I got Ferris Brave USB. And you know, uh, Chain Tornado doesn't actually have that much higher of a, a multiplier than Meltdown does. It just does five hits instead of four. I 
<laughs> lost uh, lost wall, I think. It's quite the long phase one. Ah. At the moment, in this Rage 3, Perma Rage 3 Phase 1? No, god no. Let's see how much damage your Brave Command does. Yeah, well... You're right. I think that's okay, though. Onion Knight's Woke should get uh, get me through phase two by itself. Zero, it's, it's fire only. That sucks. Oh well. Well, that wasn't that bad. We got 15 more turns. Till he kicks me out of this fight. I'm... I'm in it, man. I'm ready to go. One point seven per cent left. Alpha no We're in there. Alright, Lara's actually a full ATV. Um If I use Ferris's USB, the one of those USBs now, does she get enough soul break points to use her, her Brave and another chain later? No, we need to, we need to risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> Don't do shit. It's the wrong team. <laughs> just, just get rid of all of it. All right, uh, Primal Essence and Geo Crush piercing physical earth damage. Uh, you know, I just feel like I'm gonna. What? How many soul break points you got? You gonna show me one of these days? Why does Terry even have Wrath? Because it didn't have anything else to give her. 
you have actually have a lot of soul break points. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll uh, I'll USB this turn with Lara, and then Wall next turn. Right. Well, no. Next eight turns is piercing. Nine turns, 12, 10 turns. It, the entire fight is piercing from this point. Right on time. Veil 4, I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you so much. Look at that. It's such a big difference. Doing a little bit too much damage. Uh, Onion Knight still needs two more turns. <laughs> two more turns to be able to break down that wall. Well, I don't have to worry about damage coming out of Terra anymore. Yeah, 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 it's probably a good idea. Because all of this this damage is just going to get absorbed into nothing anyway, so why not? Yeah, I guess I should just bring her... No, I don't know. I'll bring her USB 1. She really does have the soul break points to spare. Why not get a, a magic buff and a cast speed buff? Got an entire new... Uh, another turn before I can break this wall down. Just pathetic. Ooh, I just wasted one of my Veil Fours on that. That was dumb. No! Ah, oh, man, that sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Definitely should uh, get this timed. So Onion Sorcery hits that immediately once it comes up. Ferris isn't going to have the soul break points to use her brave. Yeah, yeah, it was, I've never made it this far. It's an experimentation. I don't think that that matters that much. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Because no matter what happens, 
we're at the same point in the fight. When Onion Knight takes his third turn of his woke. There's no way for me to break that wall down. Unless it's on Onion Knight's third turn of his woke. So the only thing that Onion gaining those turn two turns back would give me is a couple more hones. We're not spending this that much time in phase one. Well, Onion Knight is going to do something in Phase 3, I hope. I re That's what I really want to do is get to Phase 3 and see if it's, uh, if it's possible. For Onion Knight to do what I hope, what I want him to do. Uh, 47%. Yeah, I need to just, like, defend for a turn, I guess. No, just use your, yeah, just use your USB 2 again. Keep that, uh, keep that buff active. I'm gonna want you capping your ass off during the next phase. I already went over that I plan on equipping that on the next run. I didn't know she was going to have this many soul break points. Chain or Magicite for wall? That's not a... That's not a decision I can make for Alphano. Alphano doesn't have a chain. And Ferris is already casting hers. Seems good. Otherwise, we'll we'll see in a second. Hopefully, the Onion Knight thing works. I guess no, I really, really need to use uh, Terra's Awakening.
No! Fuck. Nice finisher. <laughs> Perfect. All right, on your night. Moment of moment of truth. It did it. It broke cap. Ninja magic under sink. Yes, I did. I think I got it. Honestly. I'm pretty sure this is done. Alf Arcane, Onion Knight Arcane. Oh, I guess not Onion Knight Arcane. Oh yeah, my son! Victory! Now I gotta make a video.
Yeah, I'm pretty uneasy about it. Uh, Onionite can obviously be an Earth Mage. Um, Terra can obviously be an Earth Mage. I don't have anyone like Alphano, I don't think. And r that that boss sucks so much harder than Titan does. Titan's such a softball. I never even popped the last stand in that fight. That's not happening in uh, Ruma. The only reason I was able to do this. was because I didn't require any entrusts to my healer. Because <laughs> Titan doesn't do any damage. What a friggin' team. Well, let's see. I have two Generation 2 Earth Chains. Only one of them is usable. Easy, right? Oh no, I don't even have her awakening. It doesn't doesn't matter. I was gonna say I can just make Renoa's hero ability and use her awakening, but I don't have her awakening. I was sick. I can't do that. She's just ice. I, I was not going to actually do that. I already is Glint Plus for Earth.
I don't have... I don't have that stuff. Uh, I do have Maria things. But I, I don't expect the... Well, the BSB is actually pretty good. I was going to say, I, can, I don't expect to actually use an ability double without an awakening in a six-star fight. Her BSB is actually pretty good. Uh, Tella? No. I do not think so. Rocking it. it. Does earth damage with the commands. Mm, increase the duration of his buffs. <laughs> that PSB is so <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Creel is an earth mage. Her fire stuff, though. I don't have her earth stuff. Seriously. Even her OSB is fire only. Red 13. Uh, not really. I'm not gonna say no. Do you have Red 13's USB 2? Earth Radiant Shield. And it's to cast one to the party. Um, but otherwise, nothing. Now, while the Radiant Shield on Alphano works great, that's because Alphano actually deals damage. Is there just no more Earth Mages after that point? Well, I'm not going to bother if you're showing you Rude. I'm pretty sure I just have Rude's BSB. To cap break? How the hell am I going to get my Matumbo, or how am I going to get my Red 13 to cap break with only his USB 2? Now, his Awakening would be a completely different story, because that at least has rank boost on it. And doesn't it also have an Earth? Unfortunately, she's empty. So it would be back to the old, uh, the old Terra. Yeah, um, either I bring a Entruster, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, or I bring Emperor. And if, uh, if I were to be, if I were to use Emperor, I'd have to. Animal ends his and Earth. Which I don't really want to do. Not for this shit. Especially with the next festival having an Earth banner, which is my favorite banner of the festival. With Earth Mage shit on it. That I want to pull on a lot. Uh, 
I don't like this team as much as I liked the Titan team. It was pretty much my son that got me going on that one. I wanted to use that sexy ass arcane. Uh, he does, yeah. That would actually be useful here, I think. Depends on the buff that it gives. No, it's not equipped. Right? I thought I had it. Shit, I guess I don't have it. Oh well. Yeah, Galoof's got that. Galoof's got all the, the trappings. He's... I have not touched this lineup since I killed Rama six months ago. He even has uh, stacking, which is actually required. It's not required, but... It's a pretty big deal. So, uh, Emperor or Maria BSB? <laughs> I do love the idea that Maria can just machine gun for the entire fight and never, never get tired of it. <laughs> And then I can use her USB, you know, when you need the extra damage. Well, I can always make any knight's hero ability. I don't. I'm not, I don't think it's a bad idea for me to make any nice hero ability. Because, um... It, it seems fairly, di like... Reasonable to expect. It seems reasonable to expect that Onion Knight will need his hero ability in the Dream Breaker. But I still don't think I want to do this. There's no Earth Ninja magic. Or sleep. <laughs> I had a I had a rough rough week. Yeah, well that's it, with no ninja magic there's no really not much reason for me to use this sink. It's not like I'm going to need it for the cap break while the awakening's going. Uh, I can't imagine 
then I'm going to be breaking cap with just sync. It's, yeah, it just doesn't matter. I can't, I can't use the sync without the awakening. And uh, there's no way. No way I break 20k. No way. Maybe with his hero ability. <laughs> I don't need to throw away Onion Knight's Awakening just to kill a damn wall <laughs> in this fight. <laughs> Nobody uses summons on this team. What a waste. going on Galoof. No, I'm just not feeling it. Just not feeling this. No, 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 no. I see what you're doing. It's not going to work. And I'd be using two BSBs. <laughs> Did I use Papalimo BSB against Shiva? No. No. I kind of want to now.
Yeah, I'll be using Maria's and Emperor's. And yeah, that's that's the reason why I don't want to do this. Is, yeah, just Emperor can't be on this team. No on Earth. I'm not lensing his fucking BSB for an Earth. Terra, you're back on the team. Passion souls. All right. No. Nope. Nope. I don't like you guys. This is not happening. I'm sad that I can't actually make a video out of that Titan kill. So that, I don't want to. I don't want to do that again. I don't want to do that again. It was totally ad libbed past the end of phase one. <laughs> Just highlight it. Yeah. yeah, I'll do that now. While the uh, while the dailies are going. What's going to be interesting about the highlight is uh, finding out how long that fight really was. the friggin' highlight thing works. Which it is not. YouTube, please. so many times. <laughs> it's only 54 seconds. Well, game time. No way. Oh my god, it was 35 minutes. <laughs> oh man. Oh. 
It's uh ooh, baby. It's uh Yeah, I'll, I can just do that again. I can copy my turn order. Easily reproduce it. Fifty-eight, fifty-five. It's my slowest six-star matches I kill. I think I, uh, just thinking about the, th the stuff that I did during that fight, because because there was no plan at all. Like, casting Terra's uh, null damage USB 2 twice in a row, just because she had nothing else to do. No, it wouldn't. Uh, the, the same reason why ability doubles don't work with awakenings is ability doubles require you to use an ability. Charge. And since BSB commands don't have ability charges, it recognizes that it can't use a second ability. So, like, the, the reason why... Uh, Infinite usage. Exactly. That's why stuff like Dark Cecil USB works with his Awakening, but uh, Orlando's USB doesn't work with his. Because one of them is ability double and the other isn't. Tell her we'll dual cast the BSB command. If only RWs were still in the game. Could, um, here's, here's one, uh, Dark Cecil USB, RW, uh, Garland BSB2. It's a squall type charge up BSB. Surely, yeah, that would be the most overpowered choice you could make. For sure. Definitely nothing else you can do. Mm hmm. No, honestly, uh. I mean, why not just. Why not use a, a synchro? Like, um. I suppose Sephiroth synchro? on Dark Cecil. Yeah, that, I, that works too.
Yeah, there's a reason why the RW system doesn't do anything anymore. Except farm greens. It's all... It's all Cloud's fault. Everything. It's always Cloud's fault. You know, I kind of wish, um, wish Shadows BSB command was area of effect. Then newbies could actually full auto clear with it. So now uh, you can clear a clear a daily round in like three turns. I finally got mine. I finally got mine. I forget where, but I'm kind of sad. I think it's the. the highest tier relic that I have for Yuna. <laughs> Tied with her BSB2. Sucks, man. I actually like Yuna's stuff. I want Yuna's things. Her new stuff, not the old crap. God, man. Did I really, really hated Yuna's BSB or USB1. Fiercely hated that soul break. There's still people that tried to make a case for it. Triple pot. That's a good way to end the stream. Non-elemental and dark. Oh, I don't even get to see. Should have canceled the auto. Well, I got I got non-elemental and dark. For sure. I'm wicked tired. Man. That's how I know I'm tired. I slipped back into Boston. I dropped a wicked. I don't think I've dropped a wicked on stream in a while.
I'm sure I probably do it all the time. I just don't really notice. Uh, yeah, well, this weekend. Yeah. Um, uh, still working over the weekend, but less than I did during this week. So I should be in a much better state tomorrow than I was tonight. So there's a lot of festival stuff that to, to get caught up on. I haven't done any of it. Uh, I did the cactuars, so I have done something. I haven't even done the all the gift dungeons. All right, I'm out. Thanks for watching that sloppy ass fun uh, Titan kill. See you tomorrow, probably.